You know how heartbreaking it is for a husband to look at his wife and not see a wife and just see a mother? Do you know how heartbreaking it is for a woman to only be seen as a mother? Because you just explained how your wife lost her identity and you're more concerned with the ways that affected you. But you have to understand this is not something she did to you. This is something that happened to her. Trust me, your wife did not want to be your mother. She wanted you to parent your children and act like a husband. But you started seeing her as a mother when you stopped cleaning up after yourself. And you only saw her as a mother because you never gave her the time to be anything else. You obviously resented her for not being the woman you married, but she may have lost herself trying to be everything that you and your children needed her to be. Her personality had been replaced with exhaustion, and you used how quickly she sank as an excuse for you to stray. You can try and justify cheating however you want, but the truth is that when she lost herself, you chose to find someone else instead of helping her find who she used to be. You had the effort to give, and you gave it to someone who wasn't your wife. Mom. What? <laughs> I'm going to ask you three questions, okay? And your answer every time is going to be addicted. Okay. All right. So if an alcoholic drinks too much, they are addicted. Right. And if a drug addict does too many drugs, they are addicted. Right. And what slapped you in the face last night? Addicted. <laughs> You know, you're a goofy bitch. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you won't always get the love and support from the people who you love and support. It's not a fun fact, but it is a fact. Love you, bye. If you kick a man out the house and you even say one thing remotely about like you care about him, he gonna start moving back in. How's your mother doing? She's doing pretty good. Yup, you know they had her in the hospital last week. But they said her blood pressure didn't rose up. Like, this nigga's move. Get your ass out of here, man. Uh-uh, TikTok. Don't y'all start inviting my Facebook friends to come over here because I don't want them. Lead them over there. People that feel like they know you don't support you the way strangers do. And I'm on this here app to make a new group of better friends because we cheer each other on over here. When I forget I have a new hairstyle. <laughs> the moment you put a stop to people disrespecting and taking advantage of you, is the moment they label you as difficult, crazy, and selfish. Be as difficult, crazy, and selfish as you need to be. Manipulation hates boundaries. Protect your peace. Be a blessing. It's a TikTok. Please watch this. Southern California man by the name of Daniel Navarro is in a hearing right now. Why? Child trafficking. For the last year, him and his 20-year-old accomplice, Julie Lee of Garden Grove, have been grooming a then 14-year-old girl online through Instagram and TikTok, the app we're on right now. She's now 15. They convinced her to meet them. She did, and they transported her across state lines to Mexico. Luckily, the federal authorities located and rescued this girl, but that rarely happens. You have to watch your children. He is in court today, and they're saying the maximum sentence they can give him is 10 years in federal prison. you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. God says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you hope and a future. When God has something for you, it doesn't matter who stands against it. 
I'm going to try and say this one more time and louder for the boys in the back. Show us who you are the first time so we can make an informed decision whether we want to stay or run. Do not pretend to be a better man than you actually are. Do not introduce us to a vibe that you cannot maintain and do not pretend that you are capable of consistency and commitment if you are not. Do not let us waste our time hoping that you are going to go back to being the man that you pretended to be. And if you do this, if you introduce a woman to your false representative, then you can not come at her for trying to change you back. You are the one that gave her the idea that you are capable of being a better man. She did not come up with that on her own. And if you don't like what I'm saying, then you're fucking guilty of it. Case closed. You better stay the fuck away from them. You understand me? You stay the fuck away from them. You don't text them. You don't call them. You don't unblock them. You don't give them any fucking ounce of your fucking self. You understand me? Respect your fucking self. Do whatever the fuck you can to work on your fucking self and find your fucking value. You gotta see this. Take it easy, yo. If you only believe what the media shows you, you must be in awe right now to see young men who look like this, so filled with kindness and compassion. These young kings represent the majority of who we are. We are raised to honor and cherish our elders, regardless of the color of their skin. Probably gonna lose followers over this, but. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection. No matter we will rise again for i believe in the name of jesus this one's gonna blow your mind and some people it's gonna hurt and some people the light bulb's gonna go off and your entire life is going to make sense but there are some people that grew up with so much chaos in their life that they developed the belief that chaos is safer than peace. So if things start going well for them, they have to create unnecessary chaos because it just doesn't feel safe. That just totally floored me. You gotta see this. If you only believe what the media shows you, you must be in awe right now to see young men who look like this, so filled with kindness and compassion. These young kings represent the majority of who we are. We are raised to honor and cherish our elders, regardless of the color of their skin. Jealous hearted people don't always want what you've got. They just don't want you to have it. When I say this, listen, they've been watching you longer than you think. They may not know God's timing, but they've been clocking your every move and they could tell the hour of darkness for you is over. Glory be to God, man. They see the spiritual work you've been putting in. That's why they're trying to get in good with you now so they don't miss the drop off God's expected to deliver. Is you following? They're standing next to you because they know you're next in line to eat. My God. But don't take it personal because Jesus too broke bread with the ones that wanted his head. That's why God has called you ahead of them to be head of them who are the tell of his body. Men are to women what the police are to black people.
And I know that may sound crazy, but just hit me out. How often do women hear, well, if you want to avoid being sexually assaulted, unwanted attention, etc., etc., you have to dress modestly. How often do black men hear, well, maybe if you weren't dressed like a thug, they wouldn't perceive you as a threat. How often do women give out their numbers, even if they don't want to, because they fear getting verbally or physically assaulted? How often do they just comply? How often are black people told, just comply? How often do women have to smile in the face of a man that's harassing them? How often are black people told to not escalate the situation, be nice to the officer, and hopefully you just get away with a ticket, regardless of if they're violating your civil rights? Last question. When black people bring up these problematic behaviors of the police, how often are we told not all cops? And how often are women told not all men? Interesting.